It's time to Nefes and chill. And congratulations if you made it this far into the video. You may be eligible to win some crowns on any platform or server. But before I talk about that and how you can win, let's talk about the money or gold I spent on this art gallery idea I had. So the idea is very simple. I wanted to collect every single painting in the Elder Scrolls Online and set up some sort of art viewing museum or art gallery so that anyone can come and go, at least on PC North America, and just look at the paintings. It might sound silly to some, but I find it, I think, a bit therapeutic to just kind of take time out of the day, just a little bit, walk around, and just look at some paintings. The project's not finished yet, but if you're curious about the video title and which paintings I spent 30 or about 30 million gold on, they're right behind me. These ones. The triptychs. So these triptychs are only found really, really rarely through Legitimate. We're stealing from, I, I believe, like containers in Ardenfell. When I bought these, these were the only ones on the market very recently. Uh, I don't know if they've gone up in price or they've gone down in price, but uh, pretty much all of them are basically 10 million or 9.5 million or something like that, as you'll see from the screenshot. So these triptychs cost me alone three paintings, basically 30 million gold. These paintings right here next to us, well, guess how much they're worth? They are worth at least two to five mil each, depending on when I bought them. And basically, uh, that's pretty much it. <laughs> so every painting you see here in this section of the house probably costed me, oh, I don't know, at least 50 million gold, 55, 60 million. This might sound like an absurd number, especially to console players, but inflation is basically at an all-time high on PCNA at least. Now, the house alone costs at least 1 million gold if you're going to buy it without crowns. This is the Adelor townhouse, for those of you wondering. Uh, this pot of plant, I have no idea how much it was worth. Probably 100k. These paintings here, the Telvani paintings, my god, at least a mil each. And we're just going to keep moving on around and around. These ones are the basic ones. They don't really cost too much. This one is earned from, I believe, just the ESO Plus subscription. Subscri 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 uh, these ones I had to hunt through multiple guild traders. Some were priced at 200k, some were priced at 600k, some were priced at 60k. Some deals I got, some deals I didn't get. And as we moved upwards, tapestries will become a thing uh, as you move up. But these paintings too, alone either had, uh, you know, they, they just weren't on the market, or I had to go to the ground store, which was very unfortunate. Uh, I do have a spreadsheet, or not a spreadsheet, but a list of all the paintings in the game. And we are just basically missing two paintings, and two of them come from crown crates. So everything, every painting you see here in this video is literally almost every painting in the game that you can find. And of course, we'll be adding tapestries and so forth to the unfinished project. And as you can see, there's a lot of paintings. Now you're probably getting impatient. Well, how are we going to win crowns? You're just showing us your fancy paintings that cost you perhaps 100 million gold. Who knows, right? So I am curious because my heart sank as I spent 30 million gold on those three paintings down below that I showed you at the very beginning of this video. And the cost kept rising and rising and rising as I bought each painting. I'm curious though, if there's anyone else there, anyone else out there that has spent as much gold or if higher, how much gold they spent on their housing projects. I would like to know. And this is where you guys come in. And this is for research purposes. And of course, there has to be incentive, right? Uh, I'd like to know what is the biggest amount of gold you've spent on your housing project. All right. Let me know down in the comments below, you know, how much you spent. And honestly, you know, just to verify if you did spend it, I would highly encourage you to post like a picture or something in my Discord or like uh, put it in Twitter or, or my Reddit or whatever. But I'll, I'll still take your word for it, how much gold you spent in the worst case scenario. So let me know down in the comments below how much gold you spent on housing, because I think 30 million for three paintings is uh, pretty absurd. But again, they were they are the rarest paintings in, uh, in the game. And these paintings each, I think I had to spend at least, oh, I don't know, 300k. I should have probably kept receipts, but I can't return them anyway. I don't know if anyone's ever done that, like, bought something really expensive from a trader, 
And then they were like, oh, okay, this is, this is, this is garbage. I am gonna try to contact the seller and ask for a refund. I don't know if anyone's ever done that, but yeah. Uh, for those of you curious, perhaps, this painting right here, this is an antiquity. Uh, pretty easy to get, honestly. You just need to farm the chest around the North, I, I believe, North Point, North Beacon, and Aridon. Or you can, I think it's any chest in Aridon. But this is also a triptych. Um, he dreams about Maris. And yeah, this is how you can get that. All these other paintings, though, they were either extremely uh, expensive, sometimes cheap, or hard to get. Or, I think a couple of them, they just didn't exist for uh, on the player market. I, I, I think there's a painting of a bear, yeah. That painting of a bear just was not on the market when I was purchasing these very recently. So yeah, I just thought I'd like to share some, you know, one of my, the, my, uh, my only housing project at the moment, apart from the guild hall. And uh, see how much you guys have spent. I'm really curious. But yeah, thanks for watching. And if you are on PC North America, you are more than free to visit this house. Uh, and that's it. Be safe, stay healthy, and see you guys next time. Oh, wait. You're wondering, wait a minute. Crowns. Uh, yeah, I keep forgetting about this. <laughs> so the crowns, whoever spent the most in the comment section, I'll give you the crowns. Like, the person who spent the most gold... I'll give you the crowns. Like that's that's basically it, um, and that, and that's kind of why I want the verification thing, like to show at least like link an image or something. Images that'd be nice. I'm not gonna believe someone who spent five billion gold. I think I, I don't think there's anyone like that unless you can prove me wrong. Yeah, let's see you guys soon.